Hey everyone, RBX here. Welcome back to my Stardew Valley modded 1.6 playthrough. I've decided to go back to my more casual live commentary style of videos instead of uh, my edited style of videos. Simply because it takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of time to edit videos like that. I ended up spending 10% of my time playing the game and 90% of the time uh, editing the video. And it kind of was a little disappointing because I, I, as I was editing, I realized I wanted to play more and more and more, but I couldn't because I had a video to finish. And it, it's just a little demoralizing. And the edited videos aren't really my style. I could feel myself getting a little sad, if you will. I'm just spending all this time, all this effort into a video where it potentially might not even, it might not even see the light of day, if you get what I mean. I want people to experience it for what it is. A lot of context could have possibly been lost in the edited style of video, so I wanted to come back to the regular style. But anyways, that's enough of that. Let's get on to a few of the new mods I got. So obviously, you can tell my UI design looks quite different than what it did before. That's because I have a new mod. The mod is called Vintage Interface 2.0, and it gives me a nice white color for the background and a cream kind of chocolate looking color for the borders and i think it looks really nice the only thing though is that i don't think it's updated for 1.6 yet so the new animals tab and the special items and powers tab still look like the vanilla version but you'll also notice i have the better crafting mod as well so all of my crafting is separated into different tabs that i can look at I'm not sure what the ch or the exclamation point means, but I'm sure I'll figure that out eventually. And then the other mod, which I actually got as a user suggestion, instead of having no friendship decay, get a mod called the socializing skill mod, which allows me to have socializing as a skill, like farming, mining, foraging, fishing, and combat. Now you won't see it on this tab, and I'm not sure why. I don't think it's updated for 1.6. Some of the mods can be a little broken, but they still work. But you can see it on my experience bars on the left side. The automate mod. So I figured out how it works and what you can do. So if you have a chest and a wood path. Let me make a wood path real quick. Then you can put materials into the chest and it'll automate the process which is really cool i like that a lot that'll save me a lot of time i could put all of my furnaces into the shed and do other things it'll be really cool and you can see the copper bars get put back into the chest as well so it's a very very cool mod i like it a lot but anyways now that we have that figured out i want to go to the museum and to the community center. So I got an earth crystal, a quartz, a cave carrot, a topaz, and I still need more wood and stone, but I don't want to donate those quite yet because I don't, I don't have enough anyways. So let's make our way over there. Oh, hi, Claire. Actually, that's a really good way to test out the socialize skill and see if it works. So let's actually go into town and talk to some NPCs too. I think the live commentary style of videos instead of the edited ones are a little more authentic because while I was editing the video I was writing a script I was recording the script and getting a an overlay cutting up all my footage I ended up turning like five or six hours of footage into a 20 minute video and that can be really time consuming over time and especially if you're trying to make content um, if any of you ever try to make content in the future um, it's really, really time consuming because like I said, 10% of my time was taken by playing the game and then 90% was taken up by editing. And when you factor in like a full-time job, um, it, it really, it really can take away from your entire, from your life. I'm going to be honest because what would happen is I would, I went to work, I would go to work on Monday. I would come home from work already tired, but then grind out editing of the video that I posted before for like six hours until I went to bed. And I did that for like three days straight until I got the video uploaded on Wednesday. 
So it was kind of a grueling process. And I know like, oh, 20, 20 hours of editing, like that's not that much. Again, when you factor in the other aspects of your life, it can be, it can be really difficult to do that kind of thing. So if you ever start making content, I kind of advise you to start, um, especially if you have other things in your life and commitments, I would definitely advise that you take your time with it, do what's best for you and don't follow the trends because I think you'll be a lot happier in the end if you do it that way. So I just donated those gemstones, but where is the exotic foraging bundle? I must have missed that. There it is, uh, right in the middle there. Gotta give it a cave carrot. Anyways, I'm sorry about going off on a tangent, but I'm also trying to I'm also trying to be more personable and more authentic because instead of just watching this because oh, it's Stardew Valley. I really like watching Stardew Valley videos. Like that's the that's the other part of it. The other part of it is I don't want I don't want anyone to watch my videos or I want people to watch my videos obviously, but I want people to watch my videos more for just the Stardew Valley content for my own personality. Because I think that is the best case scenario. Instead of getting attached to my playthrough, you get attached to me as a person. Anyways, let's go over to Clint and break open this geode. And I get a Necotite, or Necolite. So I have two things to donate to Gunther now, which is very nice to see. And I get a reward. And I'll, I'll eventually organize all of my artifacts to make it look all nice and pretty once I get more of them. But for now, cauliflower seeds. That is awesome. Um, how many days are left? Uh, if I plant them today, 12 days, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I will have them before the end of summer, which is good. So I got to make sure I plant them today. What I want to do is I obviously want to get further in the mines. I want to start making a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grind out fishing a little bit more so I can get, start getting that. And I, uh, the visual fish mod was actually updated, so now it works with 1.6, which I'm very happy to see. I love this mod. It looks so good. It just brings life into, into, the, into the game. Got a catch here. I'm going to try and get perfect so I can get more experience. That one didn't move around a whole lot. Nice. I also, I need a lot of money so that I can start upgrading my tools as well. I can't really do a whole lot with these tools. I need to start upgrading them, get more proficient, have less, spend, spend less energy, essentially, in a day. I didn't get perfect there. I kind of screwed that up. But, oh my god, an ancient seed. That is, that is really, really good. What a day. Holy I'll go donate that to Gunther to get Ancient Seeds, but um, if we start upgrading our tools as soon as we can, it'll cost us less energy overall in a day so we can do more things, which is always good. Doing more things equals more things done, which equals more profit, which equals... yeah. <laughs> Pick up this coral, some sea urchins, there's a cheeky one behind that bush, and we're gonna go donate this Ancient Seed, and I... Build snacks. I want to get tappers as soon as I can, which I don't remember what level I get tapper. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> See that fish right there? <laughs> I want to get tappers so I can start getting maple syrup and pine tar and uh, the other one. I don't remember. But let's get this. Let's get this ancient seed donated, and they can grow in all seasons, right? I have to check that, but I think they can grow in all seasons. So. Let me actually check ancient seeds real quick. Um, yes, ancient seeds can in fact uh, grow during all seasons, so I'm good to plant it um, right now. It takes 28 days, so I should be able to get that by the middle of summer. Let's talk to Leah and see if my socializing skill. I'll have to I'll have to look into this mod a little bit more to see how it works and if it's bugged because of 1.6, but um, I'll figure it out. But I'm thinking of doing my episodes for this playthrough, especially if I'm doing long playthroughs. Um, I think one video will probably be uh, around one week. Uh, make some more space here. I want to try and get a big cauliflower as well. So I'll actually go above right here. And I'll do nine in a circle. And the ancient seed. 
right next to the Scarecrow. So very cool. We can see our copper really started going, which is very nice. So I don't have to actually be there to start smelting ores. Uh, sell all this. So yeah, there's a, there's a few UI things like this that don't exactly work with the new visual mod, but it, that's okay. It'll work out. But I, eventually, I want to clear this up because I, I want to put my animals here in the future. Once I start getting uh, maybe some chickens and some cows. Back to the whole video style thing, but this, uh, this isn't to say that I won't be editing my videos at all. Obviously, I need to do cuts for when I don't talk because I don't want to I don't want to leave any like boring parts in. I could just record and just upload the whole thing, but then my video would be like an hour and a like actually for a whole week of Stardew for an in-game week of Stardew Valley, that's probably like 3 or 4 hours. Or no, 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 no. That's probably like 2 hours of footage. I could upload it raw, but um, I'd rather keep your attention for when I'm talking. I mean, if something important happens and I'm not talking, then um, I'll obviously keep that in, but uh, you get the idea. But I think I just want it to be a little more authentic, because I am really proud of my first video. I thought my editing was... I thought I did a really good job with it. But I don't think it's the kind of content creator I want to be, if that makes sense. I want to do more long plays, or just playthroughs, instead of fully edited, day-by-day... Uh, -day kind of stuff, because when I do that, it leaves a lot of stuff out, you know? When I was in the process of editing those videos, I noticed that um, when I went into the mines, there's not really a whole lot I could talk about, because all I could really say was, oh hey, I got this thing, which I, I don't really, I don't really find that authentic. Like, I, I basically, I skipped over whole days, essentially. Like, yeah, the content was there, I told you what I did, but like, it wasn't. It wasn't in depth. You d you didn't see me struggle and trying to fend off whatever slime it was that almost killed me, or you know things like that. You just saw. Oh yeah, I got an amethyst from the mine today. Very cool, guys. Like I I don't. It's not what I want to do. So, our, I'm going to do more live commentary instead of fully edited videos. It was an experiment, and I'm glad I did it, but. I think I, I think I like this style much more. It'll be easier on my time management. I'll actually be able to do things I want to do. I think it's worth it. Today was kind of a lackluster day. I mean, I, I, not actually, that's a lie. I got an ancient seed. I'm happy. Level three mining. There we go. Got some money. Once my strawberries are all, uh, all grown and I can harvest them. Oh boy. I'm going to be raking in the big bucks. Um, let's see the mail. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierce Store is now selling fertilizers. Very cool. Oh, look at that. Level 2 farming. Strawberries are actually really good for energy, so... And of course, the day I plan to go in the mines, I get a bad luck day, so... Uh, that's cool. Now that I have 2000, uh, G, I'm gonna go to, uh, Clint and upgrade one of my tools. Because I was going to do that last week, but... Um, I didn't have enough money at the time, and then I was saving money for um, the, the strawberry seeds. Actually, no, I'll sell them. I'll sell these. I'll take uh, the leeks, sell the strawberries, take five copper with me, and three geodes. All right, let's go. Hey, buddy. Uh, water the dog bowl, and let's go to the mines. Well, it's not raining tomorrow, so I'm not going to do my watering can quite yet. I think I want to do the axe. Axe is going to be first, and then once it starts raining, once I get a day that it rains, I'll do the watering can. Uh, actually, am I going to have enough uh, 75? Yeah, I'll be fine. Nice artifact. Earth crystal. And stone. Okie dokie. Here you go. Take my axe, please. Thank you. Two days until the axe is finished. Talk to you and give you that. Sweet. I can just keep the earth crystal with me. I find those in the mines anyways. I need to start getting money as soon as possible. I want to get I want to get my full inventory space or as much inventory space as I can. I have two rows right now, and I think the second backpack upgrade is 10,000 and then the third is 50 from what I remember. So I I've played with the bigger backpack mod before, especially if you have a lot of modded content. 
or a lot of mods installed with like a lot of new items. I think the bigger backpack is just kind of, uh, it's kind of needed. Oh, hey, wait, is the old mines back? Um, that's weird. That's very weird. I thought the, is the mine still up here? Oh, it's the minecart now because of the, the more minecarts update for 1.6 and it now it's compatible with stardew valley too or stardew valley expanded as well now so that's why that's not bad i i don't mind that kind of change i think it's fine now i actually do want your guys' opinion on this but i have a mod that allows me to see where the ladder locations are in the mines and i won't abuse it but i want to know if what you guys think about this mod and if it's fair or not because i just want to i want to try out as many mods as i can but if you guys don't think it's very fair, then um, I'll get rid of it. I uh, just want your opinion on it. So please let me know in, in the comments down below. That would be very cool. A rice shoot, more copper. But the neat thing about it is that once you actually find a ladder, the highlights for the ladder spots... Oh, actually, no, they don't. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. And while I'm going through the mines, I do want to talk about my commentary. Because I said in my live commentary or my first video on Stardew Valley, that I wasn't very good at it, I don't know how to talk, but after making that edited video and writing a script and talking to the camera, I definitely think uh, I got a lot better at it, because now I feel so much more natural talking to, talking to the camera, or talking to the microphone, without actually talking to anybody. And I think I'm getting better at uh, saying, my inner, or saying my inner thoughts, and without being like too like stiff, if you know what I mean. I heard some really great advice from one of my friends who is actually in um, my Witchet video if you like prop hunt, go check out that video. But he said, talk to the camera like you would talk to me or like talk to, talk to the mic like you would talk to everyone else in a Discord call, which definitely helped me out. So I think it, it was very, or once I heard that advice, it actually helped me out a lot. So now I don't think I'm as stiff when talking. A big slime. Oh shit. Oh sh- oh no, oh no. Alright, uh, it's not too bad. Break open these. Got some coal and copper mixed seeds. Very cool. At least I got my combat up to level 2 as well, which is nice to see. Just kill these slimes real quick. And there we go. Floor 25. Making good progress on this- on these mines, but I wanna- I need to try and get to, um, floor 40 so we can start getting some iron. But yeah, um, I won't try and abuse this ladder uh, thing. I'll try and uh, actually kill some mobs, explore the whole f or all of the floors. Oh crap! All right, we're okay. Oh, a dwarf scroll. That is, that's good. I'll get rid of these mixed seeds. Now, I think we need, I don't know if we need one or all four of the dwarf scrolls to access the dwarf. Not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll try and get to floor 30, but I don't know if I'll have time. I don't know, I feel, I feel like the ladder mod, or the finding the ladders mod, is a little cheaty. I think in the regular mines, it's okay, but I feel like we'll run into issues once we get to the skull cavern. That's what I think will happen. Because that's all about trying to get as far down as you can in a single day. So we'll see... we'll see what happens. Why are there so many bugs? Oh my god. Ladder. Oh, thank god. But I don't think it's terrible. I don't think the ladder mod is completely broken. But we'll see once I get to the Skull Cavern, if it is or not. Mine some copper. And actually, it's getting really late. Luckily, luckily it's the last floor. Until floor 30. So yeah, um, I don't see any more, so I think I'm good. And there we go. Floor 30. Uh, pretty good day. I think now we just make our way back home and uh, start the next day. And the other thing that's really cool about recording... Um, live commentary instead of recording an edited video is that I can maybe upload more frequently as well because I'm spending less time on the editing. So that might be, it might be really good. 
I'll look at the metrics. I'll see how the other video does first. But I think for now, I think uh, I think doing the live commentary is uh, is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna plant these rice shoots actually, and I'll donate that to the museum tomorrow. And the automation mod is really cool. I like that a lot. Sorry, pupper. Level two farming. We have a mayonnaise machine, and we can make a sprinkler. Yeah, I'm really not making a whole lot of money either, but we're making good progress. That's all that really matters, because I can I can play this for as many years as I want to, which is the other nice thing. Oh, that's what it is. Is that what it is? I don't know. Oh, this mod's sweet. This crafting mod is so cool. What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, I can play on this world for as long as I want to, really. There's no limit on how many years you have to go, which is really cool. And that's one of the things I really like about this game, is you can go at your own pace. Because I know a lot of people, they might try to rush, like spring, and try and get as much money as they can, as soon as they can, to do all the things. But at that point, you're not really taking in the game for what it's what it's supposed to be. Like, uh, just sit back, re relax, and enjoy it for what it is. And I'm only saying that because I did have a, a playthrough back in 1.4, where I did try to make as much money as possible as soon as I possibly could and it was fun for a while but I was already done by like year three I didn't get perfection or anything but I definitely burned myself out with trying to get as much money as I can as I could in a really really short period of time so I say just uh take it with a grain of salt and kind of go at your own pace instead of trying to be as fast as you can oh yeah I don't have my axe uh, okay I know my farm is a little barren right now, but once I start getting some more stuff, um, I'll be able to I'll be able to start decorating more. I actually I watch a lot of content. I watch like Overwatch stuff. I watch Stardew Valley stuff. I watch Minecraft stuff. I just watch a, a bunch of different games and a bunch of different content in general. But um, the trend I actually don't really like seeing is uh, is the hundred day videos or the um, doing a certain thing in a certain amount of time on this game. Now don't get me wrong, there are series out there, um, especially the hardcore Minecraft stuff. That stuff is really cool because when people get like really big worlds, and I'm, I'm not a really good builder, I'm not a really good builder in Minecraft, but when people go like over a thousand days or in-game days or like even 10,000 in-game days of hardcore Minecraft, that is so Cool to me and it's really cool to see that oh we got a cutscene wah sorry oh it's jazz i um, i'll got i'll guide you back i won't be mean you're just a kid i i don't want to be mean to you You're welcome. Back to what I was talking about. I really... Oh, oh, it does work. Okay, it just doesn't show the full experience bar. So, well, no. Or the, the social skill mod. But anyways, what is that? Sorry, I keep de getting distracted. What is this? Only a master of the five ways may enter. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's for a mod or not. Or if that's new. Or something that... In the vanilla game. I'm not sure. If that is something new for the update, please... Don't spoil me. I'm trying to do a uh, spoiler free 1.6. I the only thing I got spoiled about was um, I think the bookseller. But other than that, oh, and that and something to do with Ginger Island. I won't say it, but um, I did get spoiled about something on Ginger Island. What is that? Oh, my God. Is that a photograph? I can get photographs from fishing. <laughs> I keep getting way too distracted. <laughs> I, I really like the hardcore Minecraft stuff. Um, like the spending a thousand days in that. But when it comes to like Stardew Valley, I think just regular chill playthroughs are kind of the way to go rather than the hundred days because a hundred days isn't um, a full year in Stardew, I don't think. I think it only goes up to, or it is a full year 
Or it's more than a year, right? No, it's only until the middle of winter. And because of that, it's it's not the it's not the full year. I think for Stardew specifically, yeah, it gets views and all that, but I don't know. I don't really I don't really vibe with it if you get what I mean. Like uh one of my more favorite Minecraft YouTubers is someone named Wax Fraud. And that's kind of what um inspired me to do this Stardew playthrough is because he does the hardcore Minecraft stuff, but he does it episodically instead of doing the whole like 100 day thing and he it's more the live commentary stuff and his videos are like when he posts an episode they're like an hour and a half long which is really cool and he just builds like he, he builds a night like he builds a nice little cow farm in minecraft and all this other stuff and i'm talking so i'm missing all these fish so please don't yell at me that i'm bad at fishing in this game but um i i like his stuff because he just goes at his own pace. He doesn't try to be like, oh, I, I did this insane thing, which I really appreciate. Like, you don't have to do insane stuff. Hi, Leah. I'll talk to you after I catch this fish. I just, I really appreciate the, uh, the slow your roll, like, just more authentic kind of gameplay rather than, rather than just, like, making a whole scripted video to do it. And I know I did it. I know I just made a video kind of doing that. So I might, you can call me hypocritical if you want. It was more just experimenting. I wanted to experiment both styles before I, so I could see what I, uh, to see what I liked the most. But I think, I think I do like the more calming, um, live commentary, talking about my perspective on things, maybe not even talking about stuff related to the game, which is really, uh, I, I just like that stuff more. And, and maybe that's why, like, I even though I don't really play Overwatch anymore. Oh, hey, what do you think about when my new song should be about? Uh, a city in the sea. God, I, I keep losing my train of thought. I don't remember. I got distracted. I literally am just <laughs> yapping for real. Looking for a ripe potato. Alex, I can accept that. Oh, yeah, I still keep up with Overwatch quite a bit, even though I don't play the game anymore. Like, I, I haven't played any of season 9 and season 10 is just is about to come out really soon or maybe it already did one of the streamers i do watch and that i do like quite a bit is uh wanted strictly because the overwatch community is kind of negative about a lot of aspects and that's par partially the reason i kind of quit the game i know everyone doesn't watch twitch streamers or watches streams in general but i don't i don't watch his stream that much but i do keep up with his youtube but he's just uh he's just a genuine guy like he just seems like he's having so much fun when i was grinding the game out like eight hours a day every single day playing competitive i was miserable like everyone was negative not everyone obviously there's positive people out there it was a negative experience because it felt like half the games i was getting yelled at because i made a mistake that's not really that's not really the way i wanted to go so once overwatch 2 came out i made the de or we made the decision because uh, I played on a team in Open Division at the time, and we made the decision because we were all feeling the same thing. The game hadn't been updated in two years. Overwatch 2 was coming out, so the base game like wasn't fun anymore. It was stale. Uh, competitive was toxic. So we made the decision to disband the team, which I was sad about at first. But now that it's been almost two years now, a year or two? I kind of think it was for the best because now I'm a now I'm a lot more happy with myself and I have more time to actually do things and do the things I want to do because even though I was playing Overwatch for a long long time um towards the end I really did not want to play the game anymore I was miserable it turned one of my favorite games of all time well I'm I'm keeping that bullhead oops it turned one of my favorite games of all time into a job and made me miserable so I took a step back, kind of quit the game for a while, and I still I still love the game, don't get me wrong. Like, as much as people uh, talk crap about it, Overwatch is fun when you're not being serious. It, it, like, so, okay, that's what it does. 5% chance, no, no daily friendship decay. That's really cool. I like this mod. But when you're, but when you're playing, like, a game long-term like that, like, and maybe people who play other competitive games can kind of say the same thing. When you take a game that seriously, it becomes a job and it doesn't become fun anymore. It becomes like something you have to do rather than something you want to do. Oh, that's really cute of Jess. So I'll water these crops, but um, I, I hope uh, whoever's watching and if you're maybe in a, in a similar kind of situation, I think taking a step back and kind of giving it a break and seeing how you feel afterwards is, is kind of the way to go. Because if you're, um, 
if you take a break, come back after a month or two, and you're still like, man, I really dread doing this thing. And this isn't just for games, this could be for anything in life. But if you're like, man, I really dread doing this thing, even after two months of taking a break, then I think it's okay to kind of let go and just take a step back, just forget about it and not do it anymore and move on. And it's not necessarily a negative thing. I became a lot more positive after actually doing that. Like I didn't I didn't realize it was becoming such a negative aspect of my life until after I made the decision to quit. And sometimes you kind of need that little realization and some and things just happen for no reason sometimes. Like that's just life. But that's enough <laughs> but that's enough rambling. I've literally talked about that for like a whole day. Maybe I should start streaming my stuff. What would you guys think? about uh, me streaming to Twitch or YouTube and just doing this, uh, let me know. That would be really cool. And if you made it this far and like my commentary or like my live commentary, because I think I'm going to do more videos like this. It's really, it really comes down to whether you like me as a person or not. And that's what I hope for. So if you do like me enough as a person and want to watch more, then uh, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. What I actually need to do is actually go mining. I'll stop, um, I'll stop rambling because I definitely talked for way too long and other, like that that could that whole day could be a video in itself for sure so i'll grab this uh lucky spot some coal actually no i won't i'm not going mining i'm going fishing i changed my mind that catch was really fast oh and i missed it there's also a lot of other games i want to play um more than just stardew i maybe want to do like like i said wax fraud is kind of my inspiration so i might want to do like a, a hardcore minecraft series or um even a terraria series because i really like playing terraria and i haven't played terraria in quite a long time there's just a lot of games that i like to play and that um i want to share my experience with so if you want to see other games other than stardew like let me know i'd be more than happy to play some other games oh that one that one all that fish almost caught me off guard and i missed perfect that sucks Oh, what is that? A river jelly? Was that is that like the the blue jelly from the ocean? I don't know. I've never seen those before. It might be a new thing and expanded because they kind of sell for a lot and you can eat them for a lot of energy. But I'll keep them from for now. It might be for something important. I'm gonna try and get to level four fishing today. I think that would be really good. But anyways, back to my idea. I think maybe live streaming might be more for me. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. But I also want to interact more with uh, my viewers. I would rather have like a um, hundred subscribers with a small community around it who like me for who I am, rather than being a big channel with a million subscribers and not really connecting with my viewers, if that makes sense. Because uh, quite honestly, that's what I care about more. Another bullhead. Oh, an iridium quality bore or a bullhead. That is awesome. So I think that's enough for today doing that. But I'm actually going to go give this bullhead to the community center. And that's why I think my edited video was cool. And I'm really proud to put that much work into one video and have it turn out uh, the way I wanted it to. But at the same time, I would much rather connect with my viewers more and talk about more than just Stardew Valley. So maybe I should maybe I should start streaming. That's what I'm thinking while playing this, because I am I am getting better at the live commentary thing, which is a very good thing. And I feel more comfortable playing the game and talking to myself. But I also want to maybe connect with my viewers while I'm playing the game. Rather than just through a YouTube video. So I think that would be really cool to see. So maybe I'll maybe I'll get that set up um, sometime soon. Uh, I can, I'll keep this Iridium quality bullhead actually. And I'll keep the river jelly. Because I can actually eat these. And they don't sell for a whole lot. And they give me plus 30 max energy for like a whole day. Which is really cool. So I'll keep that, and I actually need another chest. So once I get a shed, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn one of the sheds into like my storage system. So that should be nice. Hey, buddy. And eventually, I also want to start decorating the farm too. What's the weather tomorrow? Sunny. Just make sure I watered my crops. Looks like they're watered. And we'll go to bed for the night. Level four fishing. I get a recycling machine and. A worm bin with deluxe bait. Hopefully today, hopefully today is a good luck day. And the traveling merch, yes. Very good fortune. Okay. Awesome. Could you 
I need a fresh cauliflower for one of my recipes. I think I have a cauliflower. Yep. Awesome. So I'll go give that to Jody today. I will also trek the traveling merchant as well. Make sure I water my ancient fruit seed. And once these strawberries are, uh, once I can uh, harvest these strawberries, we should be able to get a lot of money because that's definitely my problem right now. And I know I said earlier, like, oh, take the game at your own pace or whatever, which I do agree with. I do think everyone, or not everyone, I do think people should play this game at their own pace. It's it's not a, if you're doing, if you're doing a sort of long play and just looking for perfection or going full perfection, then I think uh, playing this game for at your own pace when you want to is the way to go. Now, obviously the speed running part of the game, like the speed running community and speed running perfection and all the speed running categories, I do think that is also really cool, but I think it's its, its own separate thing. Iridium bar, midnight carp, a cauliflower. I've actually got some interesting stuff in here. Nothing of use right now. Nothing I want to spend my money on anyways. I, I'll bring Jody the cauliflower, but I am going into the mines today, so I... So I'm going to grab some food before I head in there. Uh, let me grab my my cave carrots. I think six is good. Let me talk to some more NPCs. Where seems really cool. I'll have to get to know more of these NPCs as time goes on as well. All right, nice 350 G as well. Very cool. Trash can check. I want the trash hat. Trash hat is very cool. All right, let's uh, donate this dwarf scroll. I'll probably put it uh, there for now. I need it to be a rainy day soon too. I need this watering can upgraded as well. So far we've made almost 11,000, which is pretty good. It's nowhere near great, but it'll work. Hello, Linus. I won't destroy your tent. That's actually, that's really sad. Who would destroy his tent? What the heck? All right, floor 30. Oh, shit. I don't do any damage to this guy. I feel like I'm going to spend most of my time on these floors actually fighting those guys. Mine some more. Copper. Oh, God. They just pop out of nowhere. At least they don't have a whole lot of health. Okay, yep. Bye. Uh, we'll explore a little bit more. Nice geode. And some retaining soil. I'm out of here, man. I don't want to deal with you. Finding a lot of barrels, too. Nothing of interest. Oh, a bat. I need bat wings. Come over here, buddy. Come on. Oh, okay. I think I need a better sword. I mean, this sword's okay. Some iron ore. Oh, you can get iron ores from those guys? Uh, I'll try and make it down um, five more levels. I think I have enough cave carrots to do it. Yeah, I, f I feel like the... I, f I feel like the ladder... Or finding the hidden ladders mod is is a little cheaty. I don't know if I I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. It it definitely feels it definitely feels a little much. Well, that's okay. Uh, at least I tried it out. Oh, a rare disc. Okay, that's a lot of copper. Yeah, even when I'm trying to ignore them, um, if I'm like stuck on a floor and I can't find a ladder, I just you know find a green square and it's like oh cool and I, I save a bunch of energy but I don't know I feel I feel like it's a little cheaty so I, I might get rid of it in the next video oh I completed a monster slayer goal all right I like how they give me stone too it's pretty cool but I'm really looking for iron ore but I don't think I get iron ore until I reach lore 40 but I could be wrong but I haven't seen any yet and we're almost there oh hardwood awesome First hardwood. Grab some coal. Get some of that. Get some more copper. Kill this guy. Uh, down one more floor. So I'll try and I'll try and crack open some more geodes. Probably tomorrow. And I got the slingshot. All right, that's another ten floors. Um, I'll probably call it there for the mines today. But uh, I got a lot of good stuff. So I can probably sell quite a bit of materials. Actually, what I I want to figure out what earth crystals are used for. I don't remember. Let me see. All right, apparently earth crystals are used to 
make the mayonnaise machine, which I did not know about. Well, I think I knew, I just forgot. So that's good to know. So I, I, was, I was thinking about selling them, but I guess I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna need some organization soon. I'll do it eventually, once I get more chests. And I thought I had iron ore. Yeah, there it is. So I'll just start smelting that. It's getting late. What can I sell today? I'll sell the green algae. I'll keep the seaweed because it's used in some food recipes. I can sell a topaz. Or actually, I won't sell the topaz because I think you can use it as a gift for certain people. Yeah, I should, I should just wait for the strawberries to be done. Let's go. 100G. A new day. Beautiful and sunny. And a very, very good luck day. I'll water the crops. And some of my strawberries are ready to harvest. So I can sell those. I'm still waiting on that rainy day, though. And I've been getting uh, some green beans as well, so that's really good. I might be able to sell a few of my green beans. There we go. Three strawberries. Yeah, I think a lot of my money for this season is going to come from my strawberries. And they will be done tomorrow, which is a very good thing. Gotta make sure to pet Izzy. In a lucky spot up at the top. Some clay. I'll probably grow these mix seeds in summer. I don't remember what you get from mix seeds. I don't think I use them too much. Uh, for the quality crops bundle, I'm not going for gold star parsnips. My um, farming level isn't high enough to get them. I don't think. So I'm just going to go for melons, pumpkins, and corn. Because corn you can grow in summer and fall, I believe. So getting that set up early will be nice. Man, I, I love the automation mod. This is, this is really nice. It's so nice to have. And actually, I should also put in some quartz as well. I'll put 10 quartz in there. Yeah, it's such a nice mod to have. And it'll be really nice once I have uh, more things to automate. I'm pretty sure there's more to it. Yeah, the bee house, bait maker, bone mill, cask, crystallarium. It's kind of like redstone in Minecraft if you think about it. With like hoppers and stuff. Maybe I'll make a little uh, industrial area on my farm. Oh yeah, um, I've never, I don't think I've gone in here yet, but... There's a mod I want to get that I saw, but I don't know what it's called. It like expands the cave, the f mushroom cave or the fruit bat cave. So if anyone knows what that is, let me know because I want that mod because I think it would be really cool to decorate in there. And it'll be a little more, a little more lively. I'm gonna go say hi to Linus. Hi Linus. I will be your friend. Marlin's just like me, for real. Any plans for the weekend? Ah, that's nice. Well, see ya. That's <laughs> that's how I am. I panic, I panic, okay? I panic. Catches me off guard, you know? Not a good, not a good, uh, not good socially. I wish I was better, but uh, I, I've, I've been getting better over time. I was, I was really bad as a kid, though. I was, I think I was really... Um, really, really antisocial. Not super antisocial, like, I definitely... I didn't ignore people straight up, because it's like, oh my god, someone talked to me. But, I definitely overthought conversations. I think that's a better way to put it. So, I wasn't antisocial, I just thought... I thought of talking to people, or... The thought of talking to people was more of a chore. And something I had to, like, think through like a puzzle, rather than just talking to someone. <laughs> so, um, maybe, maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just weird for that. But, uh, let's go and donate this rare disc. Maybe I'll get something cool out of it. Yeah. What did I get, Gunther? What do you gotta give me? Some melon seeds. That's really good to have once summer starts up. Uh, today I will go to the beach and fish. Look some forageables. Do some more foraging. Maybe find some more stuff for the, uh, bundle. Or what bundle is that? It's the, the crab pot bundle. I can get an oyster, a cockle, 
And I need the fishing, uh, or the, the crab pot. So I need iron for that. That's why I want iron. I want iron for the crab pot. And then I can have an automatic trash machine going. So I can, I can have, like, a whole, a whole thing going on the beach here, maybe. Which would be really cool. Oh my god, there is a lot of coral. Just grab those. Can sell that for a lot of money. Very, very nice. I don't have a lot of inventory space, but um, it's doable. I missed that. How am I missing these? Am I just too late on it? I didn't even hear that. I, I heard it until it was too late and I didn't even click. What? So, what? How, how do I suck at fishing in this game? Thank you. That's okay, you can call me bad at fishing in this game. I kind of am. A dulse seaweed. I think I like the live commentary style of videos much more than I like the, uh, much more than I like the edited style and scripted that I did. Oh, another sea jelly. That's mainly because I feel much more relaxed playing the game as well than when I'm, like, recording for a scripted video. Because sometimes I think, like, oh, my movements need to be done in a certain way. But when I'm doing a live commentary, it's just it just feels like uh, I'm doing what I want and what I think because I want to do it, if that makes sense. Another sea jelly, that is... I think they're rare because I haven't seen too many of them, but I just got like two in a row. But that's why I think I like the live commentary style of videos more, because it's my own... Or it's, it's my own raw thoughts. It's much more authentic, in my opinion. Oh, and we got a cutscene with Linus... I think this is a vanilla cutscene. I've definitely seen it before. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy vermins. Could you go and scare off those raccoons for me? Make sure you give them a good scare. Okay, George. Hi, Linus. No, oh, it's a shame for food to go to waste. I really, really like the, um... The UI design for this mod, or like the portraits, or like the seasonal portraits, like around the, it it looks really nice. I really I really like the way it looks. Wait. Gus is such a nice guy. Hearts out for Gus, bro. I can tell recording this session or this week of gameplay that uh, I'm feeling much more I'm feeling much more relaxed and I'm just feeling a, a lot better about recording than I did when I was doing the the other week for the other video. So I'll get rid of these. I'll get rid of those. I'll keep the seaweed. Uh, I'll get rid of this. Um, melon seeds in there. Sardine uh, and the trash. Or when I get a trash thing, or whatever it's called. Recycling machine. Actually, if the iron bar is ready, I might be able to make it right now. What do I need? Stone and wood? Uh, I'll put it right over here. Grab a wood path. And a recycling machine. I'll eventually organize all of this as well. My machines. I'll eventually organize my machines so that they're in a good spot and not uh, taking up a whole bunch of space. But I'll probably do that when I get a shed. 
because a shed would be really nice. Well, that's a good amount of money. And day 21 of spring, uh, Queen of Sauce episode, radish salad. There's nothing like a fresh peppery radish. Fortune teller, good luck day. And my strawberries are ready. A lot of farm XP. Look at look at the bar go up. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Level 4 farming. I went from level 2 to level 4. So I'm going to keep my gold quality, and I will sell the rest. So that should be quite a bit of money today. Actually, how do I make a sprinkler? I forgot. Uh, copper and iron bar. Yeah, I can't make a sprinkler quite yet. Let's grab some more water. Water the rest of my crops. I actually have a lot of crops now. This is... Oh, and a chicken statue. Awesome. Just what you like to see. You can donate that to the museum. Uh, two refined quartz. Pet Izzy. And get her water bowl. So what I want to do today is get more iron. Iron is important. And then I can start making a lot of stuff with the iron. I don't remember how to get the cave. But I think, I think you get it sometime in summer. Or like late spring. Magnet, largemouth bass, snail, deluxe grow, green tea, a red fez, could be a nice hat to get. Um, let's look for forageables. I didn't grab my food, like usual, I always forget to. Oh, there's some spring onions down here. So let's grab one, two, three. Got a silver quality one, which I'll actually eat right now. So now that I have some spring onions... Um, I'll probably go into the mines, try and go down five more levels, get some more iron. Hat Mouse is selling a Sue Wester. I don't really like the hat. So I'll go donate this uh, chicken statue to Gunther and then head over to the mines. But I do want to, I want to get my foraging up too. And there's a cutscene with Leah. RBX, hello. a little community garden. It's cute, but my farm could hold 40 times more. Yeah, okay. Here's a fresh green bean straight from the vine. Sweet. Oh, and I get to keep the green bean too, even though I just ate it. Interesting. I'm actually, I'll get rid of that because I want the inventory space. Oh yeah, <laughs> Gunther, Gunther. Museum, museum, museum. I keep forgetting. Dun 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 Hey man, uh, here's your chicken statue. Check the trash on my way out, and we're on our way. I already wasted, like, half the day. Tomorrow I get the bookseller. I don't- I, I still won't have enough money to buy any of the books. The- the books from the bookseller are kind of expensive. I mean, I could buy the first one, which is just- it'll tell you the price of things, but mods already do that. I guess um, adding a way to see that in the vanilla game is really nice too. Something I really wanted when I first started playing, I was like, why can't I see like how much things sell for? I'm glad Concerned Ape actually um, did that and that he added that as a way to see that in the game. Some cave carrots and some iron. Awesome. Some more iron. I'll probably only go down like five levels today, but if I get, but if I get quick ladders, then maybe. I can go down more. Oh god, they do a lot of damage. Eat the spring onion for some health. There it is. I, I do think the mod is a little cheaty, especially in a situation like that. Oh, a jade. Awesome. The slimes have so much health. Or maybe my, <laughs> my sword just kind of sucks. I think I need a better sword.
Like that, uh, that takes so many hits. Oh god. Oh, there's so many, there's so many monsters. Eat my last spring onion. Yeah, I'll probably only go down five levels. I think it's, uh, I don't think I have enough time. At least I'm getting, uh, a lot of iron, which is very good. So I might actually be able to do things with it. And there we go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? I don't know what that, uh, that rock is, but I want it. Kill this slime first. Eat a cave carrot. Let's see what it is. Oh, a jade. Oh god, I, I do not have a lot of health. And the bats do... They're so annoying. Oh, and an aquamarine? I'm getting so many. So many things. I'll go down... I'll try and go down another level or two, but I don't think I'm gonna make it to floor 50. At least the little sprites are easier to fight than bats. Uh, nothing over there. I'll mine this last bit of iron that I see. There's actually a lot of iron down here. Level 3 combat. And level f uh, 4 mining. Leveling up a lot today. And a dwarf scroll. Uh, frozen geode. Uh, I'm gonna leave the mine. I don't think I have enough time. And once I get back into bed and see how much money I make, then I'll probably uh, upgrade more of my tools tomorrow. Uh, let's see what I can sell first. Uh, I'll keep the frozen geode, aquamarine, keep the frozen tear, keep a jade, sell that, sell that, and keep everything else. I'll put my iron in there and put the rest of my stuff in there. It was a good Sunday. Level 3 farming, I can get bee houses now, speed grow, and make farmer's lunch, which is a really good food item to make. And then level 4 farming, iron fence, pres preservation jars, and uh, basic retaining soil. Roots platter, and I can transmute. And we made over 5,000 G today. And with that, I will call the episode there. And I would really like to hear your thoughts on some of the topics I talked about in today's video. So if you have any opinions or things you want to share, or maybe a story, then I would be more than happy to hear that. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.